so this is the masculine reading um i do this for the highest good highest healing those who need to hear the messages most take what resonate leave what does not resonate um and we all have masculine and feminine energies and if some of these messages are repetitive i don't control the energy i just read what spirit gives me to read okay <laughs> so let's see so for this masculine energy there is some type of belief or something that they're holding on to um you know and it could be their religious beliefs societal beliefs things that they have grown up with um all right that's interesting but there's something here about either there is some form of a new beginning or there is some type of pregnancy that's coming about here for this masculine energy um you know and that doesn't mean they're obviously the one that's pregnant but <laughs> it means somebody else is so whatever this is here some of you might actually um might even be like djs or you like music or you do something with music um that's not for everybody but that's what's coming out here so whatever this conception is um they want you to stay the course so whatever it is that you're going towards or whatever it is that you were working on you know even if you um whatever you find to your beliefs to be if it's not a hundred percent in alignment with you and what you believe to be true you know kind of sit with yourself because like i said with the way we're raised and the things that we're taught we have a tendency to believe things and then as we get older we learn different so see where your morals are see where your values are see if your beliefs are still the same as they were before you know because things change you know maybe you learn some new information maybe you have a new perspective so you know try to look at things a little bit differently because whatever it is it's like that seems to be the blockage is like whatever you have this strong belief in seems to be the block so you need to really see what that is and if it's societal shit understand that a lot of the things that come into beliefs like where we get our belief system it comes from somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and as, some, as soon as somebody decides i'm going to believe different then that's when things shift but if you have generations that believe that, oh, well, if this person did this to you, then you never talk to them again. Or if they're with this person, then you can never talk to this person. You know, everybody has a person that's for them. I strongly, strongly believe that everybody has a person. So when you're dealing with this, you know, you have to look at it as there's people everywhere especially if you guys grow up in the same area the same neighborhood you know sometimes people look at it as if you're dating the same person you know not at the same time but if you dated the same person that oh well because my friend dated her i can't date her and why but well, why would you restrict yourself you know if there is no relationship there's no connection there's no nothing between these two people that shouldn't hinder you you know obviously have the conversation with your friend but if there's nothing there that would interfere then what's the issue you know kind of see where you're at because a lot of these things is what hinders us and it's the ego and the pride that keeps us stuck and limited into what it is that we're gonna do you know because we have these beliefs like oh well i can't do this or i can't do that but why can't you if your heart and your soul are pulling you somewhere why can't you do it because in your head you feel like you're betraying something or there's some you know, none, none of this shit is real. Like, none of this shit is real. What's real is what you believe to be true. That's it. You know, everybody has their own conception about everything. So, you know, that's for whoever that is. Um, alright, I guess we'll take both of those. So, like I said, whatever this religious belief is, whatever this factor is that you have going on here... You know, kind of step outside yourself and see if it's really that serious or if it's something that's workable, you know. And maybe it's, you have an issue forgiving. Can I have that, baby? Maybe you have an issue forgiving, you know. What, baby? Um, Go ahead, honey. So there might be somebody here that, um, all right, this is, this is not for everybody. I'm going to say this very clearly. What I'm about to say is not for everybody. Um, but there's somebody here that maybe you got an escort or a stripper or somebody that does that type of, that line of work. Maybe you got somebody pregnant. Um, or maybe that's what they do and you, you want to have something new with them or you want to have a relationship with them. And maybe that's why you're having such a hard time at, at, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Fucking like coming to terms with this, like allowing it to happen. And like I said, this is not for everybody because I'm sure everybody doesn't do this. But whatever that is, it's like that's what's coming out here. So somebody may have gotten somebody pregnant that they had paid for services or somebody wants to start something with someone that is in this line of work. And that's where you're having this uh, disconnect because of what your beliefs are. All right. And maybe it's just more of your ego because you feel like you don't want people talking about you or whatever. And understand if this person makes you happy and they fulfill you, it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks because they're not living your life. And honestly, if you dropped fucking dead, none of these people would even fucking remember what you did with your life. Like, that's the reality of it. It's sad, but it's true. These people aren't going to remember you. They're not going to remember your life and what you did and what you didn't do. Maybe the effect you had on their life. But aside from that, they don't, they'll nobody, they don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck, you know? And everybody thinks like, oh, well, these people are going to talk about me. Let everybody talk. Everybody has a fucking opinion. Everybody always has something they have to say. You know, it doesn't make it true. It just, that's how they feel. And then it says a lot more about them because they're coming from a judgmental place. They're not coming from a place of understanding, you know, and that's the problem. Everybody wants to judge, but nobody wants to understand. So that's where everybody comes in and is always condemning. And that's a big problem in the world. So, yeah, whatever it is, like I said, somebody needs to release these things, you know, and then maybe if you're in that line of work, maybe find a different line of work for some of you is to release that. And others of you is um, you have to accept the good with the bad. All right. Everything isn't always going to be the way you want it to be. Everything isn't going to be a cakewalk. Because they're showing once you release these things, these beliefs, whatever it is that's keeping you. Mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> My card just fell in my damn tea. Some bullshit. Um, I know, baby. Mommy said bad word. I'm sorry. I should not have said that. <laughs> so whatever it is, once you release this energy, it's like you're going to be coming into a new beginning. All right. There is something new that's coming out for you. And there are blessings that are following this. And like I said, for some of you, it is an actual little human that's coming out and maybe you feel like if y'all fall in my cup again we're gonna have life problems maybe some of you feel like you were never really allowed to show your true potential or you've kind of been playing in the background the whole time but whatever it is you need to step up into your power you need to step into this light okay because here we have a feminine energy that's coming out for you so maybe you feel like this energy maybe she hasn't shown you everything or there's something that you feel is hidden okay but whatever that is this feminine energy has <clears throat> let me see all right so we covered that yeah so again like i said whatever is happening here if you're paying for something you know release that because that's like a form of an addiction you know, if you're paying somebody for sexual services, how often do you do this? How much money are you spending on this? And is it healthy? And if you feel like it's not, ask yourself why you do this, you know? Like, what is it about this that you need to do this for or what's motivating you? And some of you need to clear your throat chakras because we're having issues here. <clears throat> you're not communicating. You're not speaking your truth. Holy shit. All right, so see what it is for you because, again, we have this negotiating type of energy. Like maybe you're trying to bargain with somebody or trying to get something from somebody. And there's like a narcissistic energy that's coming out here. So, yeah. all right, I'm going to read this. Now, with the, you see the shit I go through? They just be smacking me in the face. Alright, we'll put those together because they came out together. So whatever this energy is here, this feminine, again, like she might be pregnant or maybe somebody is thinking about starting and going towards the escort or whatever business that is. 
but understand what you you live your life how you want to live your life okay and maybe somebody doesn't want you to do that or maybe you're trying to leave a situation and somebody doesn't want you to leave the situation and there's a lot of narcissistic energy here so if it's this masculine energy that's very narcissistic or it could be the feminine energy you know it's whoever you know if you're the toxic one or you're not and maybe you're not aware that you're fucking narcissistic but look at your behaviors towards people and that should tell you very clearly if you are or aren't narcissistic but whatever it is, whatever beliefs you have, that needs to be released, okay? And you have to come into your own power and stop believing that, um, you know, that you're just, like, average or you're just like, eh, it's okay, I'm not good enough, you know, whatever it is. You need to get out of that energy because that's not the case. That's not what's true here, all right? And for some of you, there is someone that's coming in, but you need to decide what it is that you want or who it is that you want that's coming in because uh, again they're showing me traveling so maybe you guys are going to another country <clears throat> but there's somebody that's going to be coming in for you and whatever this is here maybe they there's some type of uh finances attached to this you know and all right let me see what is this so okay <laughs> This isn't for everybody, but what this is here, maybe you're dealing, this, since this is the masculine read, maybe you're dealing with a feminine energy that has more money than you, and it, it's like you feel embarrassed because of this, so you know, um, and there's not really a reason to be embarrassed, you know, be, it, I mean, depending on the person you're dealing with, I don't know the type of person you're dealing with, but typically in a normal situation this shouldn't be a cause for embarrassment because it shouldn't matter who has more money because money is money it, it comes and it fucking goes what matters is the character the person the type of energy that they bring if they make you happy if you love this individual that's what really matters you know the money is yeah it's there and you know obviously discussions about it but it shouldn't weigh that heavily on the relationship unless somebody is deliberately going out of their way to make you feel bad about not having it or lacking it Okay, and like I said, it's not for everybody, but you know, there's someone here that maybe is um, a little bit more superficial and is always chasing money, you know. So, really, just sit with yourself because I always say there's you don't chase money, you know, go after what it is that you love to do, go after your passion, what drives you, because the money will start flowing in easily. All right, and for others of you, maybe it's just gonna, you know, spending money is gonna be a little bit costly when you take this trip, whatever vacation you're going on is gonna cost you money. And some of you may be going, um, okay. There's a third party, somebody here that it, it's like, it's a secret. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with two people and you need to decide who it is that you wanna be with or who it is that you wanna deal with. And maybe one of them has more money and the other one does not. But there's someone here that's being kept a secret. So if you have a third party, that's the person who's being kept a secret because you don't take them out in public and you won't commit to this individual. All right. And like I said, this is I don't know what's happening here. Um, but whatever is happening right now in the stars and astrology and all, you know, with the planets, it's in your favor at this time. So, you know, start figuring out what you want to manifest what it is that you want to go towards because you would have to be in the flow all right and action is okay so somebody is a, a darker complexion you know it could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with but they're showing me that there is somebody that's going to intervene in this situation and it might be the darker complected person so take that how it resonates i don't know i just read what the hell is here um but whatever this is it's like um there's action that needs to be taken and somebody may have had a very difficult life or have been through has been through a lot okay and it's like they, they look at themselves as they are a survivor but understand when you live in survival mode it's like um fight or flight type of energy you know so it's like you're oh you're never just calm and you're never just really fully living. It's like you're just surviving and trying to thrive. And maybe that's why you're always chasing money because you had to survive and now you want to find some sort of stability. You know, but whatever that is, there's action that needs to be taken in this situation because if you're dealing with multiple people, it's like you need to decide which one it is that you want to deal with. And maybe you're going on a trip with one of them. I don't know. But that's what's coming out here. Um, let me see. 
And for some of you, okay, if you're single now, there is someone from your either your past or it's a past life relationship. So this is something that you uh, you feel like you know this person or you feel this energy. That's what's coming up for you. All right. So when you meet this person or when you have already, if you've already met this person, it's something that it feels like you've known them. It feels very. Uh, it's like it's not. It's not a forced connection. It's like everything just happens and it flows naturally. All right, but. Whatever it is, somebody is single, you know, maybe you're single because you were in the third party or somebody found out there was a third party situation. But there is a lot of, they're showing me that somebody feels bad, like there is a lot of regret about whatever actions they took or whatever they did. And it might be with this past person, you know, they feel bad about it and understand like you're only stuck because you're in your head. That's the only thing. And if you feel feeling like things are going slow or aren't moving quickly, this is all temporary, okay? This isn't really happening very quickly. So whatever obstacles you have in front of you, you can always turn them into opportunities. It's just how you're choosing to view these things, all right? But here we have, again, there's somebody that's giving mixed signals. So if you are dealing with multiple people, you know, or if you're the receiving end of the mixed signals, understand there is more than just you in this situation and you need to decide what's best for you okay because here we have your guides are trying to help you and they're trying to guide you on a path and whatever path they're bringing you to is like it's your career path it is where you're meant to be it's like your legacy for some of you it may even be fame or some type of public notor like some type of public notoriety all right whatever that is for you and some of you may even be hiding things or the hell all right i'm sorry i don't know what half these things all right so there's secrets there's things that somebody's keeping inside and again if they're dealing with multiple people then that's what they're keeping inside or maybe they're just uh they're in the closet like maybe this masculine energy is attracted to other men and they haven't spoken on that because they feel like it's not okay and that goes against like what their beliefs are you know and that's probably where they're having this issue but whatever it is you know you always have to be authentic and if there's something that you've been having a question about they're saying the answer is no all right so whatever it is that like, if you've had a yes or no question that's weighing heavy on you that's what it is but there is some type of move that's coming up and if you're not moving then maybe it's just traveling or you're moving towards somebody else and for some of you you might be going to get an animal or you're getting you might have sold your animal or you know put them up for adoption whatever it is but there is some type of healing energy here you know so if you're not a healer maybe the other person is a healer but like i said there is some type of movement that is going on here with this energy so we have Virgo energy coming up here and they want you to step into your full power and again you have to take ownership of what it is that you have done all right whether it's good or bad you have to take accountability for your actions all right and again okay so once you take accountability for your actions it's like you're gonna be stepping into um like you're gonna allow yourself to be receptive to miracles all right and they want you to make sure that you are you get your priorities straight okay because when you know what's important it's easier to say no to everything that is not on your list of priorities but allow yourself to take time for you because that is also an important thing okay people look at it as oh i'm just being lazy and the, it's not that it's you have to honor your body if your body's telling you it's tired and it needs rest then you need to honor that and rest and Capricorn energy, why would it not be here? It's been here for the past two days. Um, so yeah, whatever it is that you've been going through, it is coming to an end. Zael. Yo. So whatever it is that's coming in here, it's ending, okay? And it's again, they want you to go off and on your own. So if you've been in a relationship where you're in it for financial reasons or you're being codependent on somebody else it's time for you to step outside of that okay and for some of you maybe you're um you're you're like a you're a baker or you make some you work at a bakery or you do something in regards to baking um and maybe that's what it is it's like you need to step out on your own and go start your own business 
you know, some, like I said, these messages are not for everybody, but whoever it resonates with, that's what it is for you. But you have to let this go. You have to step out on your own. All right. Let me see if anything else comes out of these cards before I put them up. So, yeah, whatever this energy is, release whatever addictions you have in this narcissistic energy. All right. And again, if you're the person that you know you like, you never go out in public with this individual or whatever, it's because they're with somebody else and that's the reason why they don't take you out. Um, yeah, so whatever it is, there's some type of secret that you might need to come, you know, find some clarity about. And like I said, it could just be that they're attracted to the same sex and they haven't found a way to, uh, I don't want to say rationalize it, but it's like, um... Jesus, the word's not coming out of my mouth. Just be authentic, be truthful, and be who you are because everything will work a lot better for you, all right? Don't hide and don't lie. Don't try to manipulate. Don't do these things to yourself because it's only gonna negatively impact your life, all right? So if you leave me here, thank you. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this gave you some form of clarity and if not, then you can join me on the next reading, which is the relationship reading. Thanks. Have a good day.